Well, we're doing this once again. Hello, everyone. Chris Scooter, Scooter, Tyler, whatever you whatever you prefer to call me. It's a vlog video. What happens in vlog videos? I go on a big old trip. Where am I going on a big old trip? Momocon. Why am I going to Momocon? Magfest Bat. That's kind of it. Also, I hope you love this shaky camera. I do not have steady hands at this time of day. So, I'm counting this as day one right now. Technically, it's like day zero. If I was going to take my trip in my normal time, my normal setup, it would be day negative one. I don't know why I'm feeling the need to divulge all this information, but I am. So what we're going to be doing here is, in about, looking at my clock, six? Yeah, about six hours. I'm going to be waiting to board my plane. Who, who would have thought Scooter's going to actually get on a plane this time to go to MAGFest? But yes, yeah, so I'm going to get on a plane to go to MAGFest. Momo can't. He's, you realize how long it's been since I've gone to a convention that wasn't MAGFest? It's kind of ingrained, ingrained in the brain pan. Yes, yeah, so I'll be on a plane to MomoCon. At which point I'll be picked up. I'll be picked up by escort, we'll say. And take it to where the fun begins. We're starting everything a day early because we a lot of uh, uh, last time at MAGFest we had a lot of regrets of we never got to do this, or we never got to do that, we never got to do this thing, we never got to experience this joy, all that kind of stuff. Well, we're changing that now. So we're setting things up for a day in advance. And I am all packed. Really the only thing I have to do before I catch my ride to the airport and catch my plane at the airport is eat a lunch. That's about it. Anyway, I'll probably see you at Touchdown in Atlanta. Maybe I'll do a little bit before I take off. Maybe do a little bit before I take off. But yeah, definitely see you Touchdown in, in Atlanta, Georgia. It's a me. <laughs> oh goddamn! That's oh the first God. thing. That's it. That's going in. I've landed in Atlanta, Georgia, and there's the thing behind us. I don't know how well it shows up on camera. I've arrived safe, and bye. -bye. I brought nerds. Okay, maybe I didn't bring nerds, but I brought nerds in, in a typical sense. You brought cool people. I mean, I, my shirt literally says, I'm a nerd, get over it. My <laughs> shirt so. literally says, I'm a Gyarados, so. <laughs> Team Rocket. Yeah. Anyway, after the awkward camera zoom in on, on my stomach, I'm going to go get a bite to eat, and then more uh, hilarious antics should ensue. Good morning, it is actually day one, finally. We've all had a rather interesting evening. People got it in weird times. But there's not much going on until like two-ish when it's badge registration and then after that they probably have to still like have an hour to set things up. So um yeah. That's pretty much yeah, no plans, but we'll probably I'll probably grab snippets throughout the day because everybody should be here. Everyone is here. Everyone is here. All one. Oh no, someone else got in the frame. Alright, we're actually in, we're actually in the convention now. All badged up, ready to go. Heading over to the actual merch hall. Probably not gonna record it this time simply because artist properties and all that jazz. But I'll uh Well, I'll probably report back a little bit later. I've gotten very rusty at this vlogging stuff. Probably should have done some ball without fumbling. Oh my god, guys, I found the real Slim Kirby! <laughs> I'm just chilling over here, and Pixel Plume walks up to me. Thanks. And he hands me. The <laughs> I have something to tell you in a second. Actually, I can say it on camera too. Pixel Plume hands me this keychain of me. And then he dab. I It won't focus. The shirt says nut. It is the best thing ever. Also, that thing that's relating to what ceiling said. Do you realize, 20, after, 20 years after the fact it happened, that Freddie Mercury ooh ooh at us? Mama! Ooh! No, that's, all, that's all one, that's all one tone. 
There's no woo in there. It's enough for me to count it. So apparently a tradition of cons that I wasn't aware of was the fact that you must watch the Food Network whenever you're doing nothing else. At least have it in the background. Okay, first of all, who did not who who did not tell me that this was a thing? We made it up, so. As far as I know, I thought we were just supposed to watch the awesome uh, hotel well, trailer. Well, that's not available. The awesome hotel trailer does not exist at the Omni. Only at the Gaylord. Heh. <laughs> so, day two. I forgot to record goodbyes last night. Day two, we're standing just outside of the Charles Martinet panel. I'll see if I can get anything from the, man, from the panel, but uh, who knows if there's no, if they don't allow cameras and stuff like that. So, we'll have to see.
Hi, Scooter. If you're editing this, you know what happened. Bye. You will have skills and tools. You will pick one of each to play to solve this problem for me. And then you will each explain your choices. Okay. And have to convince me that that is the best solution. Of course, all of these things are weird and very much open to interpretations. Mm -hmm. We're also going to play a plot twist where they have different matching things. So, for example, if you have one that's yellow, it'll go for danger. So, in the middle of someone's explanation, you can be like, plot twist, and it's also immune to physical attacks. Oh! You only get these, though, when you lose a round. And you start with one. Okay. So these are these are the catch-up mechanic for those who are. So basically, if you lose around, you get they're, the, they're the interrupts. They're the they're, they're the, the counter hey. spells. So all these lovely folks are gathered here this evening. All of these lovely people are gathered here. Why are we all gathered here this evening, everybody? For Blue Toad. For Blue Toad. <laughs> Wait. Wait. I'm trapped here and I have no one else to go. <laughs> I picked a block and a block. But, and I don't know what's in question: it Why is no one playing as Toadette? I know, right? I, would, I was, I was going to. Avoid the middle two. Yeah. This lighting kind of sucks, doesn't it? Anyway. So, after those first two days of the convention, I kind of just plumbed it. I don't know what it is. I had energy, I was hyped for everything, and then these last two days have come along, and I just hit a wall. I've done my best to stay out and in the convention area and to do stuff, but I think the amount of social interaction I've done and the amount I've had to deal with people who have a lack of knowledge about their surroundings, all that combined has really just kind of soured my personal experience. And it probably doesn't help that I already have issues with being social in the first place. So. I guess it's not two days later. I did record a stupid segment last night, but kind of put you at a point. I'm very disorganized mentally at the moment. So I know for a fact this vlog is going to be incredibly short compared to other ones because of bad timing and bad planning at the beginning and lack of things I saw interesting and respect for artists at some points and yeah, it's just kind of a thing. The plus side of it is, though, I got to be kind of exposed to a competitive side of the, of, of the uh, game community a little bit. I went and watched a few gaming tournaments, at least snippets of it, and I did meet one or two of you while I was out here so far. But as of right now, all we have left is... All, all of, as a group, what we have left here is... So longs, farewells, after saying good night. Outside of going together as a large group and getting dinner. And that's about it. And I suppose that at about this time tomorrow. No, I think a little bit earlier than this. About this time tomorrow, I'm gonna be home for my trip. And I'll be already slapping the vlog together and, pu and pushing it out either right away or Friday. Other than meeting one or two friends and fans out here, I didn't really get to meet anybody special, which is unfortunate. But I think it has kind of. I think now cons have boiled down to the I'm not. I'm done like seeking out somebody important to see. It's now become a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and be with friends and be with people who look up, and, and though few at the moment, be look up, go for look for the people that look up to me. It's, I think that's why I come to cons now. I don't, I'm not out searching for, I'm not out searching for the big name people that I know out here that I'm gonna go grasp for. It's that I'm gonna just see if I pass somebody that I know out there or be with my friends. But with that being said. Hopefully I'll do something with this where I get footage of, a, of all of us folks at dinner tonight. But I've had a, I believe this little ramble bit has been longer than the rest of the vlog as it is. And I'll give my closing thoughts when I actually get home. So, uh, yeah, I shall see, I shall see you lovely people 
back in good old Wisconsin and not in... I shouldn't say I hate Atlanta like that, but... How do people survive in this 90, 95 plus degree weather in May? How about a group roll call for dinner? Dinner? The group roll call continues this way. Hi group, say hi to hi. internet group. Hi. Hi. Don't hide. Well, that's it. It's the end of the convention now. But, as per usual with these conventions, I have some afterthoughts and, of course, the goodie bags. Unfortunately, this time for convention, I was a little bit in struggle mode, but thankfully I have some... I have some wonderful friends, and we also did a little bit of a gift exchange this year at MobileCon, so I have more than just my struggle mode purchases. So, without further ado, let's get some stuff. First up on our agenda here is a hat. Not just any hat, it is the little doggy helper dude from Valkyrian Chronicles 4. This kind of starts off a trend that usually I have these in, in the Illu Weaver, used to work at GameStop. Uh, this is on used to, by the way, now. Used to work at GameStop, so goodies from her. And I kind of wanted this because A is a doggo, and B is a doggo with a, with a hat. Doggo with hat is best, is best doggo. Speaking of doggos, keep in mind that I'll make sure transfers for a second, but speaking of doggos, you can't see the dang thing at all, can you? Well, if I walk right on up to you guys, you can see that this is a special stylus, special custom stylus. You probably can't read it very well, but it is a Okami Den stylus. I still need to play through Okami Den, but now I have a custom large stylus so I can actually, you know, play the game proper. Let's move along to some pins and keychains now. So, you know, this will allow me to transition through things nice and lovely. So, first of all, this is still from the grab bag of someone works that we used to work at GameStop, but good lord, I need to like get closer to find a better focus. It's Xander. And I oddly enough get to be the one to get Xander simply because. I'm the degenerate with all four Xanders in Fire Emblem Heroes. The little keychain we got here is a, I believe it's like a Game Boy, a Game Boy Color depiction of Samus a la Super, or a la Metroid 2, because this is promotional material for Samus Metroid Returns. And a game that I need to start working on soon here, that's also a keychain type thing, is Huh. Okay, that's how you say it. Bien Fu from Tales of Vesperia. Like I said, I have that game. Should probably... Well, no, I don't have the uh, Vesperia yet, but I should probably get it and play it. Or Berseria, for that matter. Next up, I think this is a blind... This is kind of a blind bag, but I think it's kind of static what is inside of this. But I feel like it's a keychain when I uh, procured it. So now I just gotta figure out how the heck to open it safely. Alright, safe the pen's over. There they are. Kids don't ever do this at home. Okay, use scissors at home at your own discretion, but don't do this at home. And what shot? No! It is actually a proper miniature figurine of Super Saiyan Gen Blue Goku. And even comes with a little stand. This is basically promotional material for Dragon Ball Fighters. If you couldn't tell by the bag or the stand, because I haven't shown it yet, or the Goku, you really can't see anything. And it's just a stand. It doesn't really do anything other than stand that. So continuing the trend of opening a blind bag of sorts, here is. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 some Pokemon, some Pokemon I Choose You Pokemon cards. I believe these were promotional for the movie that came out a little bit before Detective Pikachu. Um, 
that's exactly what it is. We'll call it a pack opening. I haven't done one of these in forever. And there's a flyer for merch at uh, polkacenter.com. So, oh lord, that is just three copies of Ash's Pikachu, all with different art. So, I gotta look at it here, but they all have the same attack, they all have... Oh no, they have three different attacks, never mind. So we have... All of the, all three of these, which I think start off with Iron Tail, and I'll get a better view, a closer look, but they have... From left to right, have Electro Ball, Thunder, and Thunder Bolt. And in the same order, and respectively 50, 80, 100. The 80 does 20 damage to itself if a bad coin flip. And Thunderbolt discards all energy on the Pokemon. But they all have the same health. And it's just coming in closer, but it's just all Pikachu. All three Pikachus. That'd be, that'd be a nice addition to my small amount of Pokemon cards that I have over the over this over these years. And then last little thing is I've got. These two little guys, Plants vs. Zombies, I mean, it was on, it was on iPod, but I mean, I did, like, I did, I guess, if for better or for worse, Platinum Trophy that game on iPod, so. I mean, so we're transitioning from Friends Gifts to just regular gifts that aren't, <laughs> that are actually from Dedicated Hard Work. This will be hard to see, and I'll try and get it better, I know, I think I showed it before, but, on Twitter. But, ugh. It's a little me. It's just a little scooter. And, oh, I showed the wrong side first, but you probably can't see it, but those, that little bit of black lettering you see between my neck and my, the logo of my shirt just says, not. You know. Not. You know. Not. After that, we have to, we go along to just the badge for this year. I like to show off the badge every year because it just feels awesome to show off the badge to say it was there and all that jazz. Also got a swanky new lanyard for the badge. Bad Luck Theater, a game I need to play at all. But that doesn't allow me to transition to what we did for our gifting show. Oh no, it doesn't. I missed, I missed some paraphernalia. Mario Tennis Aces Tennis Ball. Now we can transition to the gift stuff. So, woo, that's something else I have to put uh, back away here quick. So, in the maneuver, in the move, in the what we did this year is a gift exchange, kind of a secret Santa, if you will. I had our good, my good friend, perfect nougat for our gift exchange friend, which I'll, I've got to be. Uh, do with it do with this hand. I got him a Murloc plush, which you can see right here. Editing magic. But there's a couple things here. So who got me was Hereupon Will, uh, uh, originally known as Sega Squirrel. And I goofed up because I because I confirmed the wrong gift from the wrong person at least twice while there, because I am bad at remembering people that I've only met like twice. <laughs> so First of all, I didn't know that Tetris 99 had a physical release. What's even funnier is it's not actually Tetris 99, it was just a clever way to drop in that $10 gift card. Which I am not going to show you the code for, that is mine. But, considering all of the e-goodness, I got it. He gave me a perch of a good old nut boy. So then, about the convention itself. Well, we'll start with the least impressive and go to what I feel is the most impressive. My TRG card. Basically, the throne controller's panel card. They give these out to everybody who goes to the panel, and they call at random some a number on these cards to go up to the panel. You saw earlier our good friend Wolf of Storms go up and compete in in the competition. I've yet to be picked, but I'm not salty. It's just random chance you get picked. Next up is a tube item. So I don't play I don't play TCGs that much. Or really at all. But, oh god, I've done something terrible with this. Hey, I fixed it. But 
Because I've been needing a new mouse pad for a while, and because they're made of the same material, I figured, hey, why not give myself a play mat that can double as an extra large mouse pad? It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. So this is just going to go on my desk now, underneath my keyboard and my mouse, and just be an extra large mouse pad. And finally, the most degenerate thing I've ever I've purchased at a convention yet. Marisa. Like it's actually like full on. It's just a full on thing that's just meant to lay on the ground or on a shelf and just peek over. Even though it does have fine detailings like all around it. That's a tag I'll need to rip off here in a second. Oops. Sega. Sorry, I'm getting off topic. But yeah. It's Marisa. She's even got the little hair plate or however you say that word, plate. I probably sound like I'm speaking a uh, foreign language as is. But there's that. So, setting her down. Convention wise. Fantastic convention. There was a lot more people there, so I got, and I have trouble with social situations as is, despite the fact that I spend most of my time not at my 9 to 5 job talking. Despite all that, and despite that, you know, I kind of so a little socially inept, so being in a social setting for that long weirded me out really fast, so I dipped out of panels and things really quickly. And probably didn't go to as near as much stuff as I should have. That's on me. That's not on MobileCon. The only thing I will I will say though for a convention of this size, and this is is just general knowledge for you guys out there to take with you. And this is just general knowledge for you to. This is just general knowledge for you to take going forth, and hopefully you adhere to it because you will make everyone's con experience better. Move to the side. I had so many experiences this, this year, in the vendor hall specifically, where people would be looking at something along the side, like, like my green screen here. Like, you're walking along at the green screen, like, for example, this is the vendor booth. This is the center of the aisle, so there's another vendor booth off camera here you can't see, which is basically my monitor. And what we have is this much space to get, you know, at any one point, a thousand people through through an entire vendor section. If you walk by, you can definitely look at stuff, but keep moving. Don't stop and stare while standing in the middle of the aisle and decide if you really want to go over to that vendor. If you have to, if you stop for any more than a couple seconds, you probably want something for that vendor. Go to that vendor's go over to that vendor's hall and look at their stuff up front. You will alleviate traffic issues, and you will make everybody else there a lot more appreciated, or you'll basically make everybody happier. I know it's long as it usually isn't as long as I normally do for vlogs of this type. I think over time I've gotten a little, I got a little jaded to con experience as a whole. Also, I just realized this whole time I had my salt, my salt shaker in frame. Whatever. Um, con, I've gotten a little jaded to con experience as a whole. And really doing stuff with friends, like putting, turning this on for friends. I'm already awkward with social situations as it is, so like <clears throat> turning this on with people in the frame is just amplifies how awkward I feel. So this segment at the end is probably twice as long as the rest of the entire vlog. But from what I did capture, I hope I showed you like most of my experience at the convention and showed you most of my highs and lows. Because everybody needs, because as much as nobody wants to see the lows of, a, of going to convention, you do need to understand that they exist because, yes, you're at like the high, the happiest place you could be at that point in your life. But there's still things that can go wrong either mentally or physically. And you just gotta air out that dirty laundry sometimes. Anyway, I'm rambling like I tend to do a lot. Everyone, thank you all so much for watching this, well, this vlog. As is with a customer with most of these vlogs, I'm going to have a small post, you know, post talky bits roll call where you can just kind of see all the stuff that I did 
or that all the pictures I took with friends and whatnot, or with others. And we'll see what other cons I go to in the future. Take care, guys, and hey, maybe I'll see you at a convention someday. Back here with that, you little crap!